Okay, so I'm going to attempt to do a little hand drill. I've got a piece of willow here that I picked up on my last little canoe excursion, and a piece of mullein or mullein, M U L L E I N. It's a nice little weed that has a pithy, pithy, soft, pithy center and kind of a woody exterior. So I uh, just uh, got sort of an end grain going here. And we'll see how it goes. And what I'm looking for as I get this guy spinning, so we'll see smoke starting to happen. But what I'm looking for once I get some dust fill, um, in the uh, in the notch here, there's a smoke not just sort of coming off the top, but actually like you'll see it sort of wrapping right around the whole thing. And that's when I know I'm getting sort of close. And then we'll be putting some more pressure on, hopefully seeing the, the wraparound smoke and a bit coming up the bottom here. And hopefully we'll get ourselves a, an ember. So. Let's turn this way so you can see the, the notch happening. So pretty much I start slowly. Just to try to warm the, uh, the board up and sort of get myself in, in the groove. I'm pretty new to using willow. Um, only done once really with uh, with hand drill, and two or three maybe two or three times doing bow drill. But I think I have pretty good success with it. Like normally I've been doing cedar, cedar on cedar for bow drill, and mullein on cedar for hand drill. Um, but trying the willow out, it's quite a soft wood, so far it's been pretty good. So, we're starting to see a little bit of smoke already. And, you know, I'm still kind of taking it relatively easy. Uh, there's no sense pressing too hard yet until I've developed enough of that brown dust that, uh, such that it starts to fill the the notch. <laughs> this end is falling over the new camera. <laughs> this actually requires a fair bit of muscular energy to, uh, to do this. So I'm just trying to conserve energy while we, the dust starts to form up. <laughs> Smell it. Yep. I'm getting close to having enough dust. And you'll probably see the smoke getting thicker and lingering a bit longer, which is what we're looking for. So now I can start applying a little bit more energy. I feel like I'm not quite there, but no, we do have an ember. Now the smoke is staying. Yep, see how the smoke is self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. So we've got an ember in there. So now what I'll do, and you can probably see now it's glowing, oh, glowing orange. Oh. Can you see that? Yep. So now what I'll do is remove my foot. Give that a tap to release the amber and 
yeah, basically we're good. And what you can do is take some of that brown dust that's not part of the ember yet, if you need to build it up. And just sort of put it on top. And the brown dust is made from what? Well, it's a lot of it is uh, just this willow being worn off, oh. and some of it will be the end of this guy. Okay. So, yeah, basically this is a success. Now all you would do is transfer this into a tinder bundle, which I haven't bothered to make up, but imagine that this is a, tim a tinder bundle. Essentially, I'd uh, take this and dump them into the tinder bundle and blow it up into a fire. Cool. So, yeah. And the nice thing, too, about this is uh, there's no huge hurry or panic to get it into your tinder bundle. And a few times I've kind of got myself a cold going and realized, ah, oh, crap, I've, you know, my tinder bundle's not 100% ready. I've got several minutes, really. Oh, it lasts that long. Yeah, it'll last a while. So, you know, you just stop, relax, especially doing the, the, the hand drill. Yeah, it's, you're really breathing hard. It takes a lot of energy to do it. Um, yeah, so you stop, relax, take your time, get your your tinder bundle, get your kindling ready, took, yeah, then put it in. It took uh, under six minutes to do it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's still, yeah, cool. still good to go. There we have it. Bob's your uncle. Indeed he is. So, yeah, we were just talking about doing the, uh, the, the hand drill. So it requires a lot of physical effort to, to get it going. It also uh, takes a bit of a workout on your hands. And I haven't done this in a while and you, know, you, you do wind up developing calluses and if you don't do it for a couple of weeks, the next time you do it, your calluses may complain a little bit. Oh so that's, this actually doesn't hurt at all. This is just your a, hands that are stuff. red, though. Oh yeah, because I'm squeezing as hard as I can and rubbing as hard and fast as I can. So yeah, the hands take a workout. So you have to build yourself up to doing it. But really, after about you know one or two weeks of just kind of getting used to it, then you should be ready to do it. To do it for real. So, it's all part of the.